welcome back to YouTube. We have Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews. And in today's video, I'm going to review the BenQ GS2. This is the latest portable projector from BenQ. This projector can do everything you would expect without a single wire. It has a built-in battery and speakers. You can stream content wirelessly from any phone, tablet, or computer, regardless which operating system it's using and more. So let's take a closer look at the BenQ GS2, but before getting started, let's make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. Now let's take a look at the box content of the BenQ GS2 projector. First, you get this nice carrying case where you can put your projector and all the accessories related to it with a separator that you can adjust its position to keep everything organized. You also have extra room here in the top cover where you can put extra stuff. A remote control with a very slim form factor. It's very thin, light in weight, and it takes CR2032 batteries. The power adapter, three different power cords to fit any region, a wireless dongle to be able to cast media from your phone, tablet, or computer to your BenQ GS2 without the need to use any wires. And it's compatible with iOS, macOS, Android, and Windows PC. To be able to use the wireless dongle, just to plug it in the dedicated slot, on the side of your BenQ projector. Now let's take a look at the hardware and the specs of the BenQ GS2. On the front, you get the projection lens. It has a resolution of 1280 by 720 with a brightness of 500 lumens, 100,000 to one contrast ratio, 16 by nine aspect ratio, and 1.07 billion colors. The throw ratio is 1.3 with a fixed zoom, which means you can get 35 inches if you place it one meter away from your surface, up to 100 inches at 2.8 meters. The lifespan of the lens is 20,000 hours on normal mode and 30,000 hours on echo mode. You get an autofocus camera, so you don't need to worry about adjusting the focus manually from the device, with a click of a button on the remote control, the projector will nail the focus for you. You also have front infrared sensor for the remote control and auto blank sensor for eye protection. On the side, under this plastic cover, you have the wireless dongle port, a 3.5 millimeter audio output, HDMI 1.4A port, factory reset button, a USB-C display port, and a USB 2.0 with 1.5 ampere output, you can use it to charge your phone or plug external hard drives or flash memories to play content from them. At the top, you have the power button, the battery life indicators, ambient light sensor for auto brightness, infrared sensor for the remote control, navigation buttons, and finally, back, home, and menu buttons. On the back, you have four watt speakers, air vents, and the magnetic power port. At the bottom, you have a 15 degrees tilting stand with a tripod mount. The BenQ GS2 has an M Star 648 processor. The operating system is Android 6.0, two gigabytes of LPDDR3 RAM, eight gigabytes of internal storage to download apps. It has Wi-Fi that supports 2.4 and five gigahertz connections. Bluetooth 4.0 that you can use to input or output sound, and finally, a built-in rechargeable battery that gives you three hours of playback time. Now let's put the BenQ GS2 into action. I will start with the easiest setup. I will put it on a table facing towards an empty wall. My focus got automatically adjusted. The initial setup process is straightforward. I will choose the correct orientation, the language I want, the keystone adjustment, and here you can choose between auto adjustment, or you can set it manually to make it perfect. Next, choose your Wi-Fi network to be able to download the apps you want, set the time zone, agree to the terms and conditions, and you are good to go. The home screen will show you the possible ways to connect your projector wirelessly. It supports AirPlay if you're gonna use Apple devices. It also works with Android and Windows PCs. Next, you have the file manager to access the files on your external hard drive or flash memory if you connected any. Other input sources, the App Store, and here you have Aptoid instead of Google Play Store, and finally, the list of settings. Now let's play a video to see how good is the image quality and the brightness of the GS2. 
It's now 10 o'clock in the morning, the weather is very sunny, and the curtains are open, except that the side near the projector is partially closed. Now I will cast a video from YouTube directly to the GS2 using the built-in wireless dongle. Overall, the image quality is good, despite the fact that it's 720p, but when it comes to the brightness, the 500 lumens coming out of the GS2 are not meant to be used in a room full of light like this one. Yes, you still can see everything without an issue, but this is not the best scenario for this projector. Here is another scenario at night, but with ambient light in the background compared to the morning light scenario. Now the image started to be a lot brighter and the experience is good overall. One more scenario in complete darkness compared to the same morning scenario, and that's definitely the best possible result you can get out of the GS2. The colors are vibrant, the image is bright, and the experience is great. So overall, the GS2 is designed to work the best in mid to low lighting conditions. But the most exciting part about this projector is not the specs, but the portability. This can make you do a lot of things that you won't be able to do with a normal projector. You can attach it to a display mount and the project directly on your desk, which I see it an amazing idea, and it happens without any wires. I'm casting my phone screen wirelessly, and the projector is using its built-in speakers and battery. You can even get yourself a foam sheet and hang it anywhere and put your projector on a table or a tripod and start enjoying your content. And because it's only 1.5 kilograms, so carrying it around is absolutely fine. It's even lighter than a laptop. Now let's talk about the sound quality. The GS2 rocks two built-in speakers with an output of 4 watts, so let's take a listen. As you heard, the sound is not loud and it lacks bass, which is expected from small speakers like these. But there are two ways to overcome this. You can either use 3.5 mm audio output jack or Bluetooth to connect to your favorite speakers and enjoy the experience even more. So now let's sum up everything. After using the BenQ GS2 for a while, it made me feel that using a projector is not a painful process anymore. Because I don't need to pick the perfect spot for my projector, and get stuck with it. It doesn't give me a hard time organizing the wires. I can move around with it, point it towards any surface and start projecting. I don't say that the GS2 can replace the full size projectors that give 4K resolution with 3000 lumens and above, which are designed to provide a cinematic experience, but it gives you the simplicity and the flexibility that you might need sometimes and it does that really well. So that's pretty much it for today, that was my review for the BenQ GS2. Please let me know in the comments what do you think. So I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.